Today, look here, we've got the JG T3, a nice long assault rifle with some extra features included. So as standard, we get a 500 round capacity high cap magazine, which will keep you going for long periods of time. And also as standard in the box, we get a vertical foregrip as well as a battery and a charger. So you're gonna get into battle nice and quickly and enjoy the features of this thing. When you pick this thing up straight away, it's got sort of like an MP5 feel to it. It's actually quite familiar with the controls and we'll go through some of the key features now. So the majority of this is made from a nice hard wearing and very versatile polymer. So it's very hard wearing and strong. However, the handguard here is made from an aluminium, which gives it that nice bit of extra weight. However, not overly weighty, so it's gonna wear you out quickly on the battlefield. Along the top of the rifle, at the back and the front, you'll notice you've got some iron sights, which just allows you to obviously get straight into battle and adjust these however you need to get your accuracy up. And moving towards the front of this rifle, we've got three Picatinny rails for all of your attachments. So obviously extra grips, bipods, torches, laser sights, about everything you'd want to customize this thing. And then on the left hand side of the rifle, then you'll find your select switch, very similar to your MP5 design. So you've got at the top your safety, your semi-automatic, and then your fully auto. So to access the battery is really nice and easy. At the back of the gun on the stock, you've got the butt here, which is easily removable, like so, which then gives you a nice clear access to your attach your batteries and obviously get back into battle nice and easily. Finally, to point out then how to release the magazine, you've got a little catch at the back here, which you just need to press in to remove and then to put the magazine back in you just need to put it in at a slight angle and then slide it towards you which will give you a nice click and you're into battle then. So let's go through the loading of the T3 then. So you'll need yourself some high quality BBs. I'm going to be using 0.2 gram here today to test the rifle on the range. You've got a hatch at the top here which will just allow you to fill up your BBs nice and easily and as I mentioned this is 500 gram capacity. Finally, you just need to wind the wheel at the bottom until you start feeling some resistance, which draws the BBs up through the magazine into the chamber. You can then insert your magazine back into the rifle at a slight angle as mentioned, which now means you're ready to go and get into your action with your T3. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the T3 over to the range now then. So I'm gonna test the accuracy of the power. I'm then gonna test the FPS and then we'll give it a final conclusion and verdict and let you know what I actually think of this thing. So, first of all then guys, we're gonna go for semi-automatic and we're gonna take this to the range. Now we're gonna go for full auto. features on here. It's very, very comfortable to hold due to the actual foregrip at the front and the select switch is very satisfying when you're changing it from your safe to semi to fully auto. It just has quite a nice satisfaction on there when you're actually clicking through them options. The 500 round capacity magazine is obviously going to keep you going for long periods of time so you don't need to keep reloading. The accuracy was bang on, I was getting most of the targets down first time and the responsiveness of the trigger was actually pretty decent so obviously I was able to shoot quite quickly and at short periods of time. So obviously this would be great for any starters or advanced players as like. Something that I did find when I was on the range, which I didn't notice straight away when I got this out of the box, was actually a functional bolt on here. So we've got the side along the Picatinny rails, an actual bolt handle, which is fully accessible and opens your catch here. All in all, this is a pretty decent rifle for obviously your beginners and your intermediate and advanced players. It's got everything you need on there, good weight to it, nice and durable, fires pretty nicely, and yeah, I do quite recommend this one. It's a nice rifle, and the length of this doesn't seem to get in the way. However, it's got a nice length, I'd say, if you want to use this as a DMR, or sort of a sniper, you could get away with that as well. It's very accurate. Be sure to drop us a comment down below. We wanna hear your thoughts on this. What do you think of the T3? Do you own one? What are your thoughts on it? And so, what do you actually think of it all in all? Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you guys back, and obviously watching the reviews with us. Until next time, we'll see you soon.